Welcome! During this video, we're going to learn about behavior-specific praise. Sounds good, right? Let's start off with a definition of behavior-specific praise. In order to do that, we need to recognize that there are two types of praise statements or feedback used in schools, general praise and behavior-specific praise. Behavior-specific praise provides learners with specific, positive verbal feedback indicating the approval of social or academic behavior. It is an evidence-based classroom management strategy that improves learner behavior by letting the learner know what they are doing to meet the behavioral expectations. It is easily incorporated into any instructional setting. It is a non-intrusive way to reinforce specific behaviors of your students. It can be differentiated based on the age of the students, the setting within which you teach, and your school's culture. On the other hand, general praise statements, such as well done or thank you, while positive, do not provide the learner with specific information about the behavior. Let's take a look at an example. Anita is sitting quietly listening to the teacher. An example of behavior specific praise would be, Anita, thank you for looking at me. However, if the feedback was, good job, this would be a general praise statement as Anita, the learner, does not specifically know which behavior the teacher is re referencing. Increasing behavior-specific praise has been demonstrated to have a positive impact on the classroom environment. It is associated with increases in social and academic performance of students, decreases in disruptions in the classroom, and increases in academic engaged time. Behavior-specific praise can be deceptively simple. It seems like it is something that should be happening on a regular basis in schools. However, in a 2017 study, Scott, Hearn, and Cooper conducted 6,752 observations in pre-K through high school settings, including alternative settings, and they found that the rate of behavior-specific praise was at a rate of 0.007 per minute at the elementary level, 0.004 at the middle school level and 0.005 at the high school level, less than once per minute at all grade levels. The good news is that there's room for improvement. So what can we do to achieve the improvement? There are a few simple steps to plan, implement, and monitor your increased use of behavior-specific praise. First, determine your present rate of behavior-specific praise. This is typically done by recording your number of behavior-specific praise statements during a short period of teacher-directed instruction, perhaps for 10 or 15 minutes. You will keep track of the behavior-specific praise statements directed towards individual students or the entire class. This can be done by recording the number of behavior-specific praise statements by making a tally mark on a paper, using a golf counter, or using a frequency counting app on your phone. The National PBIS Center released a, an app called Be Positive. Among other features, you can use the counter feature for a frequency count. The rate of behavior-specific praise can be calculated by adding all of the occurrences together and dividing by the number of minutes of instruction that you observed. This will give you a rate per minute. The goal is to have three to five data points that you can graph prior to starting your plan. This will be your baseline data. Next, you will develop a plan that includes a specific, measurable, and observable goal. You will also create a self-management plan to increase your behavior-specific praise. Basically, what steps are you going to take to accomplish your goal? Write these steps down. Then, you follow your plan, continuing to collect data to monitor the impact and adjust your plan as needed depending on how you are doing in relation to your goal. These same steps could be accomplished with consultation from an instructional coach or colleague with whom you work. Having someone to provide you with additional input and suggestions may strengthen your planning and outcomes. Now that we've unpacked behavior-specific praise, talked about why it is important, and discussed ideas of how to increase behavior-specific praise in your classroom, you have three additional tasks. First, individually or as a group, reflect on the guiding questions that go along with this video. Second, 
individually use the action plan to increase your behavior specific praise and monitor your progress along the way. Third, find out from your administrator if you need to submit this plan anywhere. Thank you for your time and good luck.